the world has to change in a lot of different ways. Um, accessibility has to improve. This town needs it so much that I don't even think, think about it. Like the library comes to me and says, boy, we're glad we have you as a friend, not an enemy. Because they know. I'll, I'll tell them point blank, you know, this needs to be improved. Just the right amount of support is enabling the people that we support the ability to be inclusive members in the community of Perry Sound. I kind of like to think of it like the Goldilocks principle. Too much support can be very harmful. Too little support can place a person at risk. So that involves working with our community partners to ensure that what is in the community we can access with the people we support so that they have their best lives in this community. That's just the right amount of support. Rebecca Jones, and I've been with Community Living for a long time, longer than I actually remember. There was absolutely no way I could have imagined where I'd be sitting years ago without Community Living's assistance. Hello, my name is Robert Dickey. I'm from Perry Sound, Ontario, Canada. I have a great caseworker. I have a supportive team that is second to none. When I first started, we believed that people needed to transition from institutional care into a group home. But we've learned that that's no longer necessary. It's important for parents to know um, that Community Living Perry Sound will be here to support them. Being able to support people to, to live their best life and live a meaningful life for them, whether they're a child, a youth, an adult, providing that just the right amount of support for them um, so they can be included in their community, they can feel like they belong, they can feel welcomed. It's really important that we all work together in our community to support um, children with disabilities and and their families because if the families aren't supported then you know the child isn't getting the support that they need. When I started 32 years ago here at Community Living Perry Sound our supports were cradle to grave with individuals. When I first started at Community Living we had the workshop. The people we supported would sort nuts and bolts and they would get paid I forget like you know an hourly wage. Everyone always had lunch together. As time moved on that you know, people went on to do more meaningful things and had jobs in the community and did volunteer placements. Now we're contributing to the inclusion part in terms of their lives where we don't need to be there to do everything for everybody. I would say that there's a lot more freedom for people we support to choose the things that they would like to do and choose the supports they would like. That then allows new staff who come in to really have that opportunity to be creative. I'd like to see that happen where the worker takes a step back and lets family or friends do what the worker would do. When the workshop first closed down, I think it was scary for people because that was what they were used to, right? And I think on the whole, most people ended up having a more meaningful life. We have people that are working out in the community at a number of businesses. And I just want to thank those businesses for supporting our employment program, Link Employment Services, over the last 15 years. It is beyond words how they have made my life more fruitful. We only have 15 minutes. <laughs> We're here to support them with getting connected with community partners. 
Community partnerships are incredibly important to all aspects of supporting people. Hi, my name is Clayton McGee. I'm the community paramedic uh, supervisor here in Perry Sound for Perry Sound EMS. And because of COVID, we were able to identify certain uh, community partners that uh, could benefit from each other's aid. Community Living was one of them. It's been a great uh, partnership. Community partnerships are critical to achieving our community first philosophy. And that philosophy states that if those services are available in the community, then we at Community Living Perry Sound do not provide them. We become connectors to the community. Whether that's Canada or College through education or Perry Sound High School, the public school system, or working with our partners in community health or the West Perry Sound Health Centre, those partnerships are integral. Basically our program is a gateway to other services. So we'd like to be able to uh, help them navigate the system to find the proper partnerships to help support people in their home. Working with our community partners ensures that people have access to housing, employment, transportation, so that they understand the needs of people we support. I've seen the worst this world can offer, and I just take it a day at a time. My love is books. Until COVID rolled around, I was at the library almost five to six days a week. I contribute as much as I can to my community. I wish I could do it more. I had to retire six years ago. My doctor said, you gotta slow down. At one point, I couldn't even type. Now I talk and it types for me. I have been published twice with Paris Sound Writers Group. To use this technology has just been a God bless. Socialization has definitely made my life a lot easier. My job has actually opened up for me to meet other people, not just community living. We need definitely more transportation. I was actually a part of the project and helping them with plans. I am in the process of starting a family support network. The vision is essentially to create a safe place for families to um, get to know each other, talk, use each other as resources. When my doctor told me that Eli had autism, I felt like the, my world was crumbling. I allowed myself to be sad for one day, and then I knew I had to go back and be a parent. And his dad told me, he's still our boy. He's still, he's still gonna be our boy, no matter you know what his label is. I was scared that he wasn't going to live the life that I expected him to. Additionally, I was afraid that he wasn't going to be accepted and that he wasn't going to have friends. And I feel so lucky that I worked at Community Living because I had so many, so much understanding and I, I felt secure in reaching out to community partners and reaching out to my coworkers. You know, now that he's almost nine, I just, I see hope every day. He's brilliant and he's, he's so kind. Uh, he came home from school last Friday with a note from a teacher who said, Eli, you are the kindest child I've ever met. Thank you for, for always lending a helping hand. And really, we, what more do we want for our children than for them to be happy and to be good people? As we reflect on the history of uh, Community Living Perry Sound, we also need to look to the future and our work is as important today as it was 60 years ago. Because I'm doing my accessibility job, like I'm now reaching out to other people, not just community living, but other people that need my assistance. I've used Zoom every meeting that wasn't in person. 
and without Zoom, it's hard for me to connect with people that need my help. I view it as helping the whole community, not just helping me, but helping everybody get a better life. It's been a pleasure to work with this agency for the last 32 years. I just like to acknowledge the founding members of Community Living Prairie Sound 60 years ago. Without their dedication to support their children, to have inclusive education in this community, we would not be where we are today. The toughest parts emotionally is when you know you're seeing people struggle, whether it's a parent, uh, a child, an adult, or like the family as a whole. You know, as with most careers, there's lots of opportunity for growth <laughs> in the roles I've been in. We have learned from our experiences that when people are connected to community, they are less vulnerable. I hope that citizenship for the future is that everybody is included. The work that's being done, you know, now in 2022 is going to give the future that ability, which it just makes me so excited. People can and do want to have their own like family supports, not as much worker support because it's pretty isolating when you, you think about only having one choice of person that you see every day instead of a friend or a family member that can do the same thing but without being paid. As we always say to our staff, your job is actually to do yourself out of a job. It's to support people to access the community. It is beyond words how they have made my life more fruitful. They're my reps, they're, they're my defense. Sometimes I might not agree with them, but I've learned to live life, to just go with the flow. We need to stop putting labels on people. Let them be who they are, not what other people think they should be. They're very much an unsung hero because what they do goes unsaid. We need to advocate for better housing, for better health care, and that people with developmental disabilities are embraced as full citizens. Watch out, here I come. We wouldn't be where we are today without the incredible volunteers we have on our board of directors. And I'd just like to thank them for their efforts and their continuing efforts to support us as staff, families and the people we support. And congratulations to Community Living Perry Sound on their 60th anniversary. Let's go for it, I love it. My hope for Eli's future is that essentially the world is his oyster. He really wants a wife. <laughs> he wishes on a star every night for one. <laughs> so I, I hope that he has a loving partner. I think the future is, uh, is so bright for children with a disability.